hello guys welcome in this video we are going to be building a website in 10 minutes without coding you heard me right i said 10 minutes so let's head over to our web browser and type in trillio because that's what we are going to be using trillio you type that and you click enter the search results in our case it's about trillio that appears first so that's what we are going to click yours could be simply trillio don't worry click on it and wow look at all of us okay while you're there you're going to click on get started and you'd be redirected to the the, the login page now you can log in for those of you who already have an account but in our case we are new users so we are going to click on register once that is done, we would proceed to fill in our uh, information to create a new account, your username, your email, your password. You confirm that password. Make sure to choose something well that you can remember, but, that, but it shouldn't be too easy, of course. You can also proceed to read our uh, terms of service and privacy policy. Once that's set, you click on accept and um, you register voila now we are going to receive a pop-up that asks us to verify our email addresses so you head on to your your well where you receive your emails of course and um, you check you'd receive you would have received an email from the trillion team in case you don't find it for android users make sure to check your spam folder and for our ios users make sure to check your junk folder read Click on the email and um, click on the link that asks you to activate your account. Once you, yes, you click on that link. Or in our case, let's just copy and paste it in our browser. Voila, and see, we are directed to our dashboard. It says, Welcome, Ping. Oh my God, look at that intuitive UI okay so we are going since we are we want to create our website right we are going to click on create new site let's head on to create it we have to fill in basic information for the website of course the name in my case it's Peng portfolio then a description description of the website hello this is my website blah 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 or yep my first website now on the template section you'd have the boilerplate remember this is a content management system so you are editing already existing templates as at the moment of creation of this video there is just a single template available that is the boilerplate so we are going to choose that template and um, hit on create website okay and there we have it our website has been created as you can see on our dashboard so we are now you can like i mentioned this website is created using the boilerplate template and um, let's click on view to see how it looks by default so we head on to click on view and we are directed to the landing page of our boiler fleet oh my god look at the amazing graphics look at the color everything is just eye-catching right so this is by default the template you get and you can proceed to edit to edit the image to edit the nav bar to edit you know the text take a look at it you have other sections banner cards you know sections that are all editable you can go to the about a section where you'd see you can edit this even the blog for our bloggers out there you have the blog page you can check out how individual articles are displayed you have all of that so let's head on to our dashboard and edit this template right and it's going when you click on edit you're going to be directed to a sign in page yeah you need remember we are using the trillio content management system so you need to sign into this cms enter the username and password that you you had you entered when creating your account in my case it was paying plus my password once that's done i'm going to sign in and there i'm directed to my 
content management system dashboard here is where all the pages to my website leave as you can see there are five pages by default 18 images let's take a look at it at the pages section for the pages it is arranged in a hierarchical manner as you can see here is the home page when you click on the home page this is what is displayed so this page is the home page now when you enter the home page you'd see the other pages that reside in the home page you have the about and the blog page as you can see this is the about page this is the blog page as shown on the navbar and when you click on the blog page you'd see individual articles the articles that are well the articles page the um, the articles are in the form of a page here you have the introducing trailer and other articles let's go ahead to edit this let's click on home and proceed to edit our home page now you see the page that appears take a look at the features that are made available let's explore the preview functionality let's toggle that you can drag to fit the screen you want you can also choose between desktop view tablet view or even mobile view and you can see it's this preview section is automatically updated as you change the as you change the contents of your website here let's change the text from um, let's change this text we are going to have hello there and boom as you can see it is automatic as you scroll you can change about us to about me you are seeing it being updated in real time no second wasted the images as well feel free to edit it you can go ahead to change image now by default the boilerplate comes with a number of images that are available to you but if none of these fit your requirements you can also upload you choose a file and then you upload also you can choose to change the link for example here if you want the about page to have a link to a page on your website you simply choose on the link and edit as shown here this is it i'm choosing the page that i want the about us link to be directed to we can also proceed to change let's continue further to change the text from okay here you have it welcome to my world let's change this image so we can see how it's done oh planet let's choose that and boom as you can see it is updated automatically feel free to go through these sections edit it as much as you want whether it's your portfolio website that you're building like me if you want to get started with your blog you want just the blog section you can also have it there are various functional and um, card components that are available as you can see the components that are available you have a heading the title the list block card list if you're confused on what on what it of each of these mean simply click on it and you will be previewed automatically and you can know exactly what you're doing as you move along so once all the information has been filled we'll proceed to save these changes now you can either save these changes or publish it immediately publishing it means that the um, pen dot pengportfolio.trailer.com the content is going to be updated to what you just changed let's go ahead and publish it and there as you can see when you load peng pengportfolio.trailer.com you have the website content which you just updated now this link is means that your website is already live on the internet so you can proceed to share this link and those who click on it will be directed to this website which you just created let's look at other amazing features of our content management system let's take a look at the images section now the images there are several components that can be edited you can edit the title you can edit the tags so here you have the title you can edit it proceed to edit it you can also choose to replace the file and the tags will represent the category you want the image to fall in there's also this cool focus feature that lets you select the particular section 
portion of a picture which is well important you can say so so you can go ahead to play around with that let's check out other features okay still on the images you can see the various tags that we have here we have brand we have um, illustration and others so these tags help to classify your images for easy research or you know just group them into a well-organized manner let's take a look at the next which is the snippet the next feature which is a snippet now snippets here they contain categories navigations and people categories here are mostly for blog articles and they contain well, the categories of each article you have the people here for those with many collaborators you can include the people's profile here let's take a look a look at navigations that's a nav bar as you can see you have we what we have we have the trailer logo as shown here it's an image and you it has title main it could be an image or effects your choice then you have features you have about us let's change that to about me you have blog let's change my blog you know and for the link you can either choose to put an internal link that's a page that you've already created in our case we've chosen it to be nothing but you can choose it to be a page you've created or add an external link let's proceed to add an external link let's say we want to link our whatsapp or you know maybe our facebook even i want to add the link to our facebook page here so let's go you can choose let's try whatsapp first for those of you with business whatsapp you could copy the link to your whatsapp and paste that url there let's go with facebook so you have facebook and in this link let's include you should include the link to your facebook page you choose that the page you see there you have it you can save it once that is saved let's reload and boom you see it being added on the navbar facebook and when you click on it it's going to be it's going to direct you to your facebook page there you have it your website what you've edited and go around to edit this text more so here is your website and um, here's the dashboard of course now if you're stuck and you need a help you can toggle this messaging icon it's going to the pop-up is going to show where you can communicate with us you can go ahead to fill in your information so hello how are you doing how should we call you fill in your name and boom you can see it's very interactive it's very intuitive and you can get to us at any moment we're always available to answer your questions that's it guys in barely 10 minutes we've been able to create and publish our website it is now live you can go ahead to check bankportfolio.trillio.com proceed to create yours and share the link as well thank you see you in the next one